Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of Shadow of the Colossus walkthrough. I'm Dice. And I'm Benefit. And the place you're seeing now is... The original starting location, the shrine that you come back to after every time you defeat a Colossus. It shows you a little cinematic of... Uh, random shadows standing over you uh, and then it shows you the statue for the Colossus you just defeated and then Dorman gives you a hint for your next Colossus Dorman Dorman is the god or whatever entity your main character asked for help to revive this girl right here and the one that sends you on these little adventures and that looks like one of the statue bone. Yep. Has a cool little sound too. Uh that whole scene of of him walking up to the girl usually isn't there. Just very few times they have a little extra bit. Yeah, let me guess and this is Dorman telling you what to do next. Yep. The next Colossus. Yep. There's a statue of it. And pretty much be on your way. I usually just run off and call the horse aggro while I'm running. Your trusty steed. Yep. I'll take you through many battles. It looks like Black Beauty. But, except this bad boy is better. <laughs> and right here, this is a save point. They're scattered all across the map. Because later on the journey is get a bit longer. And I guess they just want you to save just in case you're tired of traveling for now. Well, I don't even think I shine the sword here because I immediately know where to go. We're heading to the second Colossus at the Seaside Cave. You want to ride over to this little pathway where it looks like there's nothing really there, but as soon as you get closer, it repairs a bridge. The Colossus is right down there. You just go across this little bridge and then it's gonna go into a cutscene to show you down where it is. Every time you approach a Colossus's area, it gives you a little cutscene like you're about to see to pretty much let you know you're there. Or if the Colossus needs to enter the screen or enter the area, then it's gonna show you that. Most travels will take up a long duration of the video but if you need to, you can always skip through to find the part where you're at. The first few travels are very easy, but if you do get lost or don't know where you're going, just remember by pressing the circle button you pull out your sword and your sword will guide you on the way on where the next destination is. You shouldn't have too much trouble with this Colossus because it doesn't really swing at you or hit you in any way but if you are too close to it it might stomp on you just be careful not to go too close to it or you will get hit by it just follow the simple steps and you'll be guaranteed to beat this colossus in no time right after you pass up and coming pillar the second colossus will appear And here's Colossus number two, the epic entrance through a wall. I wouldn't want him chasing me. You would, it wouldn't be a long chase. Crush Kinsen. Or the key instant.
Alright, so what you do first is I'm just showing you that there's spots are under his feet. You don't need to stab there. <laughs> just shoot an arrow when he lifts up his foot, right to the bottom of his foot. He'll fall over, then you can climb up and get to the next vital points. I believe one is on his head and one is on his back right above where he would have a tail. Alrighty. So, getting the opportunity here. Did it right away. Then again, climb the fur like I said, don't even try and climb the other parts. As you can see, the pink in the circle at the bottom right is getting smaller because you only can hang on for so long. Especially when they try and shake you off. So here's the first vital spot. I kind of got too anxious and over jumped it there. Oh, is that what you did? <laughs> I don't know what's um, when you stab these vital spots, um, after a few stabs, they do disappear so that you, you have to move to the next one. You can't just stay at one spot the whole game, the whole fight. So I'm guessing next you want to go to his head, um, where the final one is? Yes. Plenty of grip there. Plenty. <laughs> and here's the second vital, second and final vital spot on this guy here. Uh, notice when you stab his head, his eye color changes. Yes, his eye color changes from blue to orange. Feeling that pain, man. Um, you don't need to be right in the middle to stab the spot. You can be like around the edges of the symbol there. But just make sure when you stab, he actually does lose life. And you actually do see this black smoke come out. Or else you probably missed it. Here I was just getting some more grip because he started to be a little jerk. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, he really wants to live. Who knows why? So he can barge through walls again. I don't want to live to make epic entrances like that. It's, it's like the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Accept your death. Come on. No, you wanna. There it is. And his eyes go dim. Body falls. And then he turns back. Okay. And again, I try and escape. Alright, we'll see you guys in the next part. In part three. Thank you for watching. See ya.